We all had that moment in our lives when the PC we were using just felt a little slow. And a thought crossed our minds. Is it time to upgrade? Well, why not bring some life into that old PC instead? Our ancient HP laptop from our Windows 7 Revisit video struggled to run Windows 11. This thing running just a dual core Intel processor from 2008 and just three gigs of DDR2 RAM with a spinning hard disk took a good five minutes just to boot up into the desktop. Once there, the situation did not improve. Everything felt really, really slow. Even installing Surfshark took some patience and I really needed a lot of patience to accomplish anything. It's no secret that with each Windows update, the OS gets new features, but they come at a cost of it becoming bloated. And then as a result, older machines like this, just don't run them well anymore. I mean, sure, that's why we have system requirements, right? But what if the only still well running Windows version is no longer safe to use? In this case, Windows 7. This got me thinking, what if we could save this old HP laptop from becoming obsolete? And I thought that Linux could be our savior. Unlike Windows, certain Linux distros are slow to adapt new updates and features. Yes, this does mean that you may not get all the new fancy bells and whistles features that you would on Windows 11, but I mean, come on, it's a laptop from 2008. If it can do basic browsing, send email, maybe do some light document or spreadsheet editing, I think that's still a perfectly fine computer for most people. When it comes to choosing which Linux distro would work best, I had to try several. First was Linux Mint. It comes in three different flavors, those being Cinnamon, Mate, and XFCE. I wanted to try Mate because I thought it could be a good middle ground between all the three versions. The only problem was that after the installation process, I could not boot into the OS. And believe me, I've tried lots of different things, but sadly, I just had to scrap using Mint. What I will say is that while running from the USB, it ran fairly well, which, you know, it not booting from the hard drive made me all the more sad. But no worries, as there are still more distros to try. Next, I wanted to try out Pop! OS. Now, Pop! OS is awesome for productivity. So I thought even though its recommended requirements are just a bit higher than our laptops, that we could still run it fairly well. The first good piece of news was that it installed fine. However, I should have known that all those extra productivity features would be just a bit too much for our PC to handle. It did still feel better than stock Windows 11 or 10, so that's definitely better. The PC booted up much quicker, the general use did feel snappier, but uh, it just did not feel snappy enough for me anyway. So I did some more research and users on various Reddit threads kept suggesting Lubuntu. On its official website, it stated that this distro is super lightweight, hence the name. It only comes with the absolute essential apps and services. Me and the old DHP had nothing to lose, so took my USB drive and I went to install it. <laughs> the installation surprisingly went really well and booted up normally. What struck me first was that very basic looking user interface. I mean, yeah, I know it's an old PC, so as long as it works, it's fine. I don't really care about all those fancy interfaces. The first thing I really wanted to test was YouTube. And by default, Lubuntu comes with the Firefox browser. YouTube playback did run smoothly at 720p and I could even browse other sites in the background, which was actually really nice. 720p 60fps content did hitch just a tiny bit, however, but video playback aside, browsing social media, doing a bit of spreadsheet editing, and even writing parts of the script, all on this decade plus old computer was still very much possible. And jumping from Windows 7 to Linux also comes with much better security and privacy. Even Windows 7 near the end of its life cycle started integrating some spyware updates as you guys pointed out in the comments. We usually associate old PCs as being insecure, but getting Linux could completely reverse this narrative. Anyway, I think we can move on to the conclusion of this video. If you have a relative or a friend who's been complaining about how their PC doesn't well run anymore, maybe consider offering them Linux instead. Linux as a platform has been slowly maturing and driver support and overall stability has gotten much better depending on the distro you try. Speaking of which, I really enjoyed my time with Lubuntu, but if you are coming from Windows, Linux Mint is also a really great choice and it runs great and it also looks very similar to Windows. So, you know, that transfer thing might work better for you. I'm sure in the comments, you'll also see other suggestions as well. And by the way, we also made a video where we ran Windows 7 on this PC. So go check it out. I'll leave that link right over here. I think you'll really, really like that video. So yeah, that'll be all for me. Take care.